everybody. This is Poison Dog 88, and it's the summertime, so that means we're gonna be making some more of these videos. And this one is going to be returning to another old idea that I had, and that is archers only. I have a couple more of these ideas, but I just kinda wanna do all of the insert unit here only, and then I will do those other ideas, probably interspersed with those. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after I run out of challenge ideas. Um, probably do some different types of Polytopia videos. Maybe get into the multiplayer realm a little bit. Not really sure yet. Um, so we're going to go into a new game. I'm going to do a creative one because... Um, just because it's easier to set up this way. We're going to re-enable these. I haven't re-enabled them since the Catapults one. Uh, and we're going to play as Hoodrick. We're going to do the new skin just for variety. And Hoodrick, of course, because they start with archery and an archer. Uh, this is not the settings we're going to be playing on. Five opponents, crazy difficulty, continents is probably fine. And we're going to do a huge map. Okay, so um, we are going to take hunting off the bat because that'll give us something to form an economy off of. Uh, right away it doesn't seem like we are uh, near people, but it looks like Imperius is also in this game. We're going to hunt two animals, take the two pop, and get an explore in hopes that we meet another tribe. Okay, we did not, but we know now that we are kind of, uh, what's the word, on a little peninsula, which should be good for uh, growth and kind of training our units up. Uh, I do want that mountain ruin, but it's not imperative that we get ASAP. There's Imo. Uh, we're going to send this archer to towards those other villages, and we'll get another archer in this new city. Uh, I turned confirm turn on, as you can see, uh, and there's Imperius. Okay, so we're gonna kind of keep our archers back a little bit, uh, just so we can see when they're coming, so that sort of thing won't happen. This is a little tenuous here. What can I do? Um, well, I could move back and put another archer in here, and then I'd have to get one in this city as well. Riding roads might be a good idea. I also want climbing to get that, and organization so I can reliably upgrade other cities. Uh, we'll see what they do. Okay, they're fighting Imo, uh, which is good. Uh, we'll get a kill with both of these archers. I think we'll take organization this turn so we can upgrade in the dawn. Uh, we'll get a workshop in this one and then we will get two more archers. We got a workshop in that one because, um, okay, goodbye, Katsali. The, uh, the only tribe over here that we need to meet is Imo, and an explorer would not really do us that good. Um, because we're probably going to meet them in a few turns anyway, because they're at, in a war with Imperius. Okay, so we got our archers healed up. Uh, you two are the ones that have kills, so we're going to send this one in first. And these two are going to be bringing up the rear. And then we'll just have more archers sitting around here. What technologies? Forestry wouldn't be a bad idea. Into mathematics, there's a really good level 5 sawmill right here. Not any other amazing sawmill spots. There's a level 3 right here. The rest are just level 2s. If we chop this, it could be a level 4, but that would also make this into a level 4. Not amazing when it comes to sawmills. I think we'll go for riding to get roads soon. Alright, let's go meet Imo. Okay, they're saluting me friendly. Uh, we will... That is the wrong order. Uh, 
I meant to kill with this one so we could get a second kill and be one kill away from veterancy, but that's fine. Uh, since we met Ima, we can snag Rhodes really quick. Uh, we'll need forestry to upgrade either of these cities, so we'll get that now. And we'll chop once here, so we can get two lumber huts and the fruit. Upgrade that city and grab resources. So we will then grab another archer and make a road out of that city. Okay, can we not do that, please? Okay, if you shoot and then you get the kill, then you will have a promotion. Uh, we won't go for that promotion right away. We'll wait on that because I don't believe you can be hit twice this turn. Now if we put a road down here, harvest the fruit here, and then get a lumber hut underneath that archer, we'll upgrade this city, take resources, and then we'll take this other village this turn where we can do hunting and a lumber hut and take another workshop. So now we're making a pretty respectable number of stars per turn. 11 on turn 11 isn't great, um, but for a tribe that's not economy focused, it is pretty good. Who is that? Oh, we've got Aquarion in this game. Lovely, I love Aquarion from the deepest part of my heart. They're just my favorite tribe in the game. We can level this city up. It'll take us eight stars to do so because two roads and two lumber huts. I think that's probably fine because I don't know what I'm going to be spending these stars on anyways this turn. And then we'll get five back. So it's a net loss of three stars this turn. But in three turns, it'll have paid itself off. None of you are on the way to veterancy. I guess we can shoot with you. We can come in here. So those do two health each. This one should do three. And then this one should kill. Uh, so we just need more archers to come into Pdomo. And then we should be able to take it in a turn or so. Uh, what do I want? Do I want to start working on sawmills now? I could have a level 3 right here at the moment, but I think I want to wait for border growth. Now how could I get border growth easily in here? The easiest way I can see is getting a monument, so maybe the killer monument, because we're already at 8 out of 10 on that. And then... Uh, yeah, I think Monument is the way to go for upgrading our capital. Um, so we'll just keep pumping out archers. This tile will be made a road, as will this one, just to get us some more movement bonuses. And then when we take that village, it will turn into uh, an extra population for us. I think I want to get climbing so I can get this ruin. So this guy can go onto that village and this guy can go onto that mountain. So let's snag climbing. Do I want fit? I mean, I don't have anything else I'm going to use these stars for this turn. I could save them up. This is a good forge spot. Sorry, I could save up my stars um, for next turn because then I'd have 21 next turn which would give me a lot to play around with, but I think I just want to grab fishing this turn before I take another village. Okay, Imo is being a thorn in my side. I'm going to have strong words with their mom if they keep this up, um, but that is a little word of caution in terms of this guy, because because he's a veteran, um, so what does Imo think of me, actually? They think I'm wise, threatening, and peaceful. I could, in theory, get strategy to offer them a peace treaty, but there's no saying that they would have to take that. They could just 
reject it, and then I'd be stuck at square one again. I think it's a decent enough idea with some merit, though, um, to take strategy just in general, so then we can get diplomacy in a bit and get capital vision down the line, so we'll offer them peace. Uh, they rejected it. That's fine. Okay. They killed my veteran. Okay. So, that was a really bad turn. I got him swordsman, so he's going to have to be disbanded. Don't like me very much for whatever reason. So, I think we want to take down their archer first. We'll get our gate of power in our capital. And we'll take border growth. Whaling is 10 stars this turn, so we'll just take that and harvest this whale while it's still net neutral. I think another workshop, this explorer is not going to be that useful. Um, and we'll upgrade it a couple times and take resources. So Aquarion, um, they're not at peace, but they're not at war with me either. That's not great. That means they can show up at the drop of a hat. I wish there was like a way you could see which of your archers were about to become veterans. So I think we'll shoot twice on that guy and we'll take the promotion immediately. You are going to die regardless, so we're just going to get some scouting in on you. Uh, you'll do two damage to whoever you hit unless it's that warrior who has the defense bonus. Could I get, oh, I could, I could get this city. Well, there's no merit really to up. Mm. If I upgrade, I get my Metropolis Monument, which I could put in this city and get 10 stars. So I think that's worth it because it only cost me six stars to upgrade this city. And even though I can't use a giant, it'll be an extra star per turn. And then I get my Metropolis. And then if I go in here, do Lumber Hut, and then Park of Fortune, I can get border growth and get that whale. So net gain of four stars plus two extra stars per turn. So that's not bad. I could start going down the water route. Um, get some battleships kicking in old flow. That's not a bad idea. I don't, I think that's a pretty decent idea. So we'll grab sailing. Won't be able to make a port this turn, but we'll at least start heading that way. And we'll just save our extra stars because we cannot train any more archers. Right, so they've got a veteran archer and they have swordsmen, but luckily they're also under attack from somebody else. I think there's a village right here, I reckon. And that's because I know there's land right here because this water tile is shallow ocean. So I think we will embark this unit uh, we might as well finish upgrading this city as well it won't be as good as uh, upgrading our capital because we won't get the monument but it's an extra star per turn just for six extra stars and this game is definitely going to last longer than six more turns so imperius is doing the uh swordsman strategy they're just going to be getting oodles of swordsmen Aquarion, well, they don't think I am good, so they're going to attack me. So, first strike capability. I don't know whether or not that was smart, but since we're playing on crazy, I didn't want to risk it with AI. Okay, Swordsman's coming in, so we want to be wary of that. Uh, so we attack with the back line first. Uh, you should be able to get a kill now, so you're on two out of three kills. We'll play Leapfrog with our boats. There is another village. You got the kill last time, so I think you should get the kill this time. So then you're also on two out of three. If I put a road down here and another road down here, I should be able to sneak over here. And if I put one down here, you can go there and we can... And probably do some work on that warrior. 
they're not going to be willing to break this siege, I don't think. There are swordsmen hiding back here in the fog. Uh, I probably should have taken an explorer when I had the chance, but I can take one in this city because it's not going to be an economy-based city. Um, might as well get free spirit to disband the swordsman this turn so it's not dead weight and so it doesn't accidentally contribute to the challenge. Uh, I think we're going to do some scouting instead of... Um, what's the word? Uh, taking that village this turn because it's not really imperative that we do that. Uh, I sh I've been attacking the wrong swordsman, so if you go here, we can attack that swordsman. Uh, we want to take down one of those swordsmen too, though, which we're not able to. We're only able to take down the warriors, which also isn't terrible. And we'll get an explorer because it'll go down this way because that's the closest cloud. We'll get some intel on Imperius. Okay, brilliant. So now we know what their land looks like. They're probably going to kill this guy. So you are safe to sit there most likely. Okay, for some reason they're both deciding that fighting me is the higher priority instead of each other. Which is fine, I mean, it's probably fair. We'll put you there as kind of a meat shield. It's probably cruel, but that's what we gotta do. We'll start bringing a navy over to the southwest coast of Imperius. I feel like a lot of my crazy difficulty games are gonna start taking the same route of Oh yeah, I technically did the challenge, but you know, I used most of the units in a navy. Okay, so now they're actually wising up. They have another water unit coming in. Unfortunately for them, I brought backup. And then we will take out this one. I didn't do the most optimal thing in terms of veterancy there, but I can't let veterancy take over this challenge. And I think we'll get an explorer for scouting information on this corner. Okay, I really hoped it would have revealed more of Aquarion, but that's fine. Uh, just so we could kind of see what they're up to. If we connect up one more city, we will get our network monument. Uh, so I'll leave that in mind for when I get a port here. Uh, they got their... this. That's not the Tower of Wisdom, is it? No way they've got all the techs. They have all the techs. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay, stars. I'm not upset about stars. Uh, we can get a battleship with stars. I think we could kill this swordsman. I would need to make this into a battleship, which I am fine doing. Hitting with you and then killing with you. So they'll probably be more focused on this battleship than these archers. So that'll be fine. If we get it to here... Then I put down the Grand Bazaar uh, and then take population growth because border growth is pointless here. Then we get the two more population from that. So that's two more stars per turn. So I think that'll pay itself off. That was a seven star investment. So that'll pay itself off in three and a half turns. So are they going to attack this battleship? Okay, Imo's attacking over here. That's fine. They're not attacking the battleship. So that's actually good. That is not good. Uh, what abilities does a crab have anyways? Escape and float. So it does not have dash. So I need to keep that in mind, that the crab can't dash. Uh, we'll bring a ship in uh, for next turn. Because that's when it'll matter most. We'll get you healed up with veterancy. And we will start moving back and attacking the crab. We could get close to getting this. I think we'll get it down to two, and then a uh, archer shot should kill it. But we also need to be wary about Imo, because they're coming back and attacking. And they've got a pretty big army, which is something that archers aren't really that 
good at dealing with. They're good at dealing with individual units, but not when it looks like that. That's a knight's job, which is why having all the different types of units in this game is very important. You can only go into the line of fire. You'll get yourself killed, but if you get yourself killed here, that's not all that bad. You can do four there, you can do five there, we can do two there, but that'll kill you. So I think we take the five on that. We see what's in this ruin. Okay, population isn't ideal, but we can get an extra star per turn with just doing that. And then we can train another archer here to help take care of that crab. So actually that wasn't that bad. Okay, so they're moving a lot of their units back actually. So whoever's back here is really being a massive help to our cause. Okay, crab landed. Oh, there's another crab? Okay, you're going into battleship. That's the only way I see this going. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, you can exercise zone of control here, so that's not too bad. We'll deal with this one first because it's the most immediate threat to us. We'll get a decent chunk of damage down to about half of its health left. We'll put that in there. Um, I mean, it'll, it would have taken it regardless. I think Crab kills Archer in one hit. Uh, so that wasn't the smartest play. If we bring you up here, you can deal damage there. I need to save some stars to think about these guys. You are not on your way to veterancy. Anybody on their way to veterancy? You are. You get this kill and promote. If we batter this city, it should be a decent chunk of damage. Oh no, they, oh, hey, it's Venger. They're helping me, yay. Thank everything. They have a giant, of course they got a giant. You seem like you will take peace. Uh, that will be very helpful. Uh, so that's one crab neutralized, another crab under attack. This crab is probably hiding here or here. Actually, I think it has to be here unless they have roads. On the assumption that Venger takes a peace offering, we should be able to shoot that down no problem. And we'll get an extra free shot on that crab. Since we're not going to be going super tech heavy for the rest of the game, I don't really feel bad getting additional villages because all they're really going to be used for okay i really hoped that would have connected could have done some euclidean geometry to see if it would or not but i didn't really feel like doing that anyways getting more villages is going to be a benefit because it'll give us more stars and since we're not going to be getting many more texts this game maybe mathematics but we've been doing fine without sawmills uh the drawback of getting more villages will not be present Thankfully, Imo seems to be helping to take care of Imperius. Uh, and Venger did accept the peace treaty, so that is very welcome. They've got two crabs staring down this city. Uh, I think we have to divide and conquer. So I'm letting Venger kind of take the brunt of Imo's aggression. Okay, as expected, they took that. But I can just attack with that and then golden. Uh, I Using some strategic attacking, I can kill both of those. Uh, this crab won't be a big problem either because for some reason they decided they were going to run it over there. Uh, so that's half its health gone and it won't be able to attack and take in the same turn because it works like a normal giant. Uh, so I think we've neutralized Aquarion's crab threat, so we'll start getting more battleships up in the north. This city is about to get a giant, so I want to kind of be wary about that. Okay, so we have another giant, and the giant is going to me, so worst case scenario, yay. And Imperius has another giant. That's great. What do we get here? I don't want population in my capital biggest thing that's a problem with Imo's giant is that I don't have many naval units over there that are able to help deal with Imo's giant the same way that I did 
with Aquarion's crap. Also, another problem is there's a huge bottleneck here, and I'm fighting on two fronts. And they have two giants. Okay, so Imo didn't do as much damage as I expected them to do. Uh, Imperius got another giant, so that is the worst possible timing for that. Right, so this giant's probably going to go into there. That giant... I need to get rid of that catapult. That's, a, that's probably the biggest priority, is that catapult needs to be out of here. That cloak needs to be gone. That's priority one. Uh, these ships need to be gone. Okay. So that's not terrible. I think more navy and northeast is in order. Yes. Uh, you don't really have anything to do. Actually, you can go here and shoot that. Why not? Uh, and you start making your way over to Aquarium. Oh, thank goodness. They used their catapult to... Oh, their giants got distracted. Okay. So that's... We avoided the worst case scenario this turn. Thank you so much. Politopia, I really did not want to have to restart this game. Their so giants are distracted with each other. Now would be a prime time to get a kill on one of them though, or at least deal damage. All right, so let's start dealing damage to these giants. Uh, keep them at roughly the same health. Imo's veteran swordsman is in a boat. I think we can knock it down to size. So I know that it looks like we haven't been making progress, which is, for the most part, correct. We haven't really been making much progress uh, in the south, especially. But they don't have an infinite number of giants. They have a finite number of resources, and when those resources start running out, it's going to be difficult for them to make more giants. Like, I don't see them getting veteran, many, or not veterancy, uh, giants. Like, I don't see them getting probably any more than two more giants in these cities. So that is good. What is this? Grand Bazaar. That is a sick looking Grand Bazaar. I'd play Aquarion just to see that Grand Bazaar, honestly. Another crab. That seems like Venger's problem. So I'll let them deal with that crab. Imo also appears to be running out of units. Uh, they also play after Imperius, which doesn't seem important until you realize that Imperius will train units, and then Imo will want to try and deal with those units. Catapult's here, so that can reach my archers, but I think they're going to be far more focused on Venger, at least when it comes to that catapult. That was a stupid crab movement, or stupid battleship movement, and dealing with that crab Venger. I'm very disappointed in you. Thankfully, I can take the crab down, no sweat, but... I expected better. I think we might be able to take our first city of this challenge down here. We can get that swordsman out of here. This is high enough health that I'm willing to bring it down there to attack that swordsman. I'm willing to put one here. We can attack with that and then take the city with that. And then we can neutralize that swordsman so they can't take it from us. And then we can actually do some damage to that one as well. First city taken. Or, hopefully. They can still giant push in here, which would be supremely annoying. Venger is still not doing the most optimal thing. Uh, let's see how they deal with that crab. They won't deal with that crab. Instead, they'll let it come and attack me. Thanks, ally. Alright, first city taken just so happens to be their capital. It's just swordsmen after swordsmen. I know that swordsmen are really good. It doesn't make it any less annoying. Okay, that should be ample to deal with down here, so I'll move the rest of the battleships up and around. I am very fortunate that there is this little water straight through here uh, to help us with mobility. 
I'll deal with the units that have less defense, which are um, things not in forests. What does that I mean? Oh, there's a cloak. That's what that means. So I think the cloak is on this tile, unless it means two tiles. Uh, so we have to be prepared for a rebellion. I did not know that's what the I meant. I think it was like a couple videos ago, or maybe it was even last video, where I was like, what the heck does the I mean? Cloak appears to be here. Okay, so that's how you can use the... I like that. Very helpful. I could get mathematics. Oh, aquaticism. I actually really want aquaticism. That'll be really useful. I'm not helping you out, Wenger. You can figure out how to deal with them on your own. We are ready to start sieging in a minute. Because, yeah, we can take an, down an entire line of units. All right, we'll take out Imperius this turn. Uh, again, unless they giant push, which is not outside the realm of possibility. I think the AI actually has the knowledge of giant pushing now, which is a scary thing to give the AI. Oh, we're out of stars. Fingers finally pulling their weight. Uh, they are making really questionable decisions. Um, okay, they also, Aquarion has a crab. Did you seriously leave this city with, why would you do this? It's one pop away. I have a lot more battleships staring that crab down, and in fact, we'll be able to kill it this turn. I'm Owen Vin, see, I want Wenger to help out, but I don't want them to take the spoils. I want Imo, and Aquarion for that matter, for myself. And I, I kind of am glad that the battle for this city is taking that long, because it means that Wenger's getting bogged down, which is kind of similar to what's happening with me, to be honest. I'm getting very bogged down with Imo, and you know, it's not like it's a human. They're just m lifeless, cold, hearted computers they don't care if you want them to die they're computers i don't really want to waste stars on one of these battleships that i made but i also don't want to have to keep on waiting um so i think i will just bite the bullet they got another giant okay venger you can deal with that Thanks, you're doing a whole lot of work on that. You took out eight health with those nine boats you shot it with. All right, take these two. You get the kill because you're special and I like you more. Is that catapult that's, that was hiding here gone? Like, what? what's the status on that catapult? Is it still around? Do I have to be worried? I'm just coming in and absolutely beating them into... A pulp. Alright, we're having another battleship bottleneck through here. That's fun. Uh, we can probably bring some around up top, too. And some land archers wouldn't hurt. I thought that city was called Popo for a second, and I got really excited. Why not get mathematics, honestly? At this point, we'll just put the sawmill down and get an extra pop. Oh, there's water around back. That's perfect, actually. We can attack them from behind. I'm very good at coming from behind. We took our first Imo City. It's only been like 40 turns since we met them. All right, Aquarion has this city remaining. Aquar uh, Imo has this one, this one, and then one more back here. Uh, so we should be a go to attack Avenger soon. They're gonna have to suck it up and deal with it because I'm the mighty power. I mean, why not get diplomacy? I could find their capital. I'm at the point of the game where stars are of little concern now. That was the worst order you could have used to attack. I mean, now seems like an opportune time, but I would like uh, for Imo to be out of the picture when I do it. Like, best case scenario, Imo's out of the picture when I break peace. I guess we could spend some more time getting scouting information around back here. I don't know what that cloak's doing, and I don't like it there. I'll be patient. I can be patient sometimes. Sometimes being the operative word there. I would appreciate it if you would stop moving battleships into my territory. Although, you know what? When I break peace with you... 
Okay, this turn. This turn is the peace-breaking turn, although I want to get scouting in first. Okay. Yep, it's happening this turn. I think I'm ready. These units can't do much. I gotta remember his cloak is here. And his cloak is also in the south corner of Pulpo. Peace breaking time. Yeah. Oh, really? They don't think I'm threatening. Oh, oh well. Boo hoo. Why did they not lose their units in my territory? These units should be easy enough to clean up. I would like this battleship to be gone, as well as these ships. Uh, there's a dinghy right here. These battleships need to be gone as well, so I'll just, I'll, I'll, I'll clean those up for you right now. I think that was a really successful first strike. I want these daggers out of here. Oh, there's a two health giant there. You know what? We managed to get rid of a really big portion of their army this turn. This city is undefended. Yes, so we will go into there. Wow, they don't have any units sitting over here. All their units were in boats on the border. Wow. They didn't even bother to train any units. I mean, I figured they were low on stars when they didn't upgrade uh, boats at all, but I didn't think it was that bad. You know what? Let's fill out the tech tree. I'm gonna have to deal with IMO too, but that won't be that big of a problem. Uh, <laughs> I recently attacked it. Yeah, but their relation with me is good. And they don't have the sparks? What the heck? I will not attack Imo, just because I feel like being nice. And I'm not sure what Imo's plans are exactly. Um, I might just take them out. I don't think I'm gonna accept peace if they offer it. Uh, cause Venger's land forces in the south are all but gone. And Imo has what I see as a total of three units, which is not the amount of units you really want to have. Okay, so they did not offer peace. I don't know why they built the embassy then. Uh, there seems to be this little water inlet that leads to these cities, like their capital, so that is very, very useful. Absolutely wail on this guy in the wall. Should be able to take him out easy and then we can take this guy out as well and we're just gonna get closer and closer to that city Imo's last city so they don't have many units left at all so I might be able to just kind of D-Day yeah I think they've only got a couple turns left Imo and Venger finally made peace. Oh, isn't that so sweet? I love when the AI does that. They like make peace when it's their last turn living. It's like, oh, it just warms my heart to see people getting along. It's just so nice, I say, as I'm shooting units with cannonballs. Unless uh, there's a giant push. I should be good. Oh, you're trying. You didn't succeed, unfortunately. Man, I was really rooting for you to succeed, too. Honestly, that's not sarcastic at all, I promise. All right, I will bring a couple more battleships around here, just in case there is a giant push. But, oh, <laughs> they broke peace. I, I forgot to take Imo's last city, but I, I, it's, it was worth it to not take their last city to just see that they broke peace the very last turn that they were alive. And the very last turn of the round. Let's see our scores. 91. That's not bad. That's actually one of the better scores that I've gotten in one of these challenges, especially considering that we didn't destroy Katsali. I mean, that's 
91 is not bad. I think if we got Quetzali and if we had done it two returns faster, we might have been able to... Yeah, we would have gotten a 95. Okay. Well, that was the Archers Only in Crazy Difficulty. I've got some new challenges, and I'll be revisiting some old challenges that I either failed or that I will do in a harder difficulty. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later. Goodbye.